Hello and welcome to Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at Excel-DashboardTemplates.com where you're sure to learn the latest posts, tips, tricks, and techniques. Learn everything about Excel. Okay, today I'm going to show you how to take data that you may have gotten entered or sent over from clients, maybe uh, from departments, and they want you to do some calculations on them. And you quickly want to move this information into a pivot table. So for instance, uh, you probably would have a, a column for department, you'd have a column for what is the category number, and then you would have a value. Um, and so you want, you know how to use pivot tables and you want to do it, I really recommend a lot of times creating a pivot table. So once again, you've got department one, you've got category one, and you've got the value. You can see we've got that for each one of those values. I think I have 250 in that other table that you saw. Um, but it is too much of a pain to manually create for each one of these values uh, your pivot table. You can quickly do it with some functions that are in Excel or actually some uh, capabilities that Excel has. So let's get to it. So first thing that you want to do is you want to press your Alt-D key and you'll see this little pop-up that says Office Access Keys, Alt-D. Continue typing menu key sequence from an earlier version of Office and press Escape to cancel. Um, so what we want to do is we're bringing up the uh, data menu that used to exist in Excel. Um, and then if I follow this up after hitting the Alt-D key, if I then uh, let go of those and press the P button, that is how you used to bring up the pivot table or pivot chart wizard, as you can see here. And um, within this older pivot table uh, chart and pivot chart wizard, there was this thing called multiple consolidation ranges. So you want to click on this multiple consolidation ranges and, and let's try this step again. So you're going to do the Alt D key, that is the Alt key and then the letter D is in dog. And then you want to press the P key by after letting go of the Alt D key, press the P key uh, as in uh, Papa and you will see the pivot table wizard come up. So once again, Alt D, let it go, hit the P button. Now we are going to click on multiple consolidation ranges and click on next. And it's going to say, uh, do you want to create fields, um, page fields, or, or do you want Excel to do it? I usually click on, I will create the page fields. Then you will see this wizard step 2B pop up where we need to show the range of the data for the multiple consolidation ranges. I'm going to go ahead and add that. Now, since we only have one, that's all we need to do. Um, then I'll typically click on how many page fields do you want, and that's one. Click on next, and it's going to say, where do you want to put this data? Um, let's just go ahead and uh, uh, put it in the existing worksheet, and I'm going to put it over uh, just off to the side in row column M, and then click on finish. Now, as you can see, we now have a pivot table um, of all of our data that we had in there before. Um, so we've got department one is category one. And so all of the data is already set up in a pivot table. And what we need to do is then explode these pivot table values into uh, back into uh, 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 by double clicking on the grand grand total. So we're going to click on the grand total of the columns and the grand total of the rows. And if I double click on that cell, what it will do is it will launch and open up and show you all of your data um, for the grand totals in category by category and department by department. So you can see here for category one, department one, our value is 6920. If I go back to my original data set, you can see category one, department one was 6920. Category two for department one was 9061. And if I go back to my exploded data, we've got 9061 for department one, category two. Now, probably would have to end up uh, renaming my column headers. So I'll call this category and we'll call it value. Like, or I guess it's already called value. And I'm gonna, just gonna delete column D. So we've now gotten rid of all of our data. Um, we have exploded the data that you saw in more of uh, a layout that you might see most Excel users do into a pivot table layout. And now I can insert a pivot table all that I want. And uh, um, we are going to go ahead and do it right here. And then from here, I can use my field lists and do whatever sort of calculations that I want. Um, so maybe I just want overall department values. Who knows what you're going to do with your pivot table. Um, but uh, that is a way to quickly and easily um, create or explode your data uh, into a pivot table format. 
Hopefully you found uh, this useful. Once again, this is Steve equals true over at Excel dashboard templates.com. Please head on over there so you get the latest posts. Also consider subscribing to my video channel so you're sure to get the next post delivered directly to your inbox. Thank you.